I'm building a purple martin house. Martins like to live in colonies and so I'm actually going to build a bird condo. Now for many years people would build their houses like this. It'd be a condo with these small boxes six inches square with a post running up through the center so you could raise and lower the house. Bigger nesting areas are recommended now like this. Each house should be 7 inches wide, 6 inches tall, and 9 to 12 inches deep. This provides better protection for the martins and also encourages larger broods. And if you build nesting boxes like these, it'll make your martin house a lot easier to clean. Now I decided to build two separate boxes like this and then connect them together. So this will be a 12 room house when it's all finished. Each one of the houses is 12 inches deep, 7 inches wide, and 6 inches tall. I've got the houses back to back as you can see here. So I'll show you the finished product here and this will give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. So we've got 6 houses on that side and 6 on the back side. So the first thing I do is draw up a little sketch so I have a plan to go by. I had some rough cut lumber left over from another job I did and so I ran it through the planer but the boards were too narrow for this project so I decided I had to uh, make these boards wider. When I do this I always use my biscuit joiner. It makes a lot stronger bond between these two pieces. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about the biscuit joiner in case you've never used one. It's a really slick little machine and easy to use. The machine cuts these little slots in the lumber and then these are the biscuits. They're made out of wood and they just add a little bit more gluing surface for these two pieces of uh, wood that I'm going to join together. So I put a little uh, bit of glue down the center of each board and then I use a paintbrush to spread it out, thin it out, so that when the boards are joined together it won't squeeze a lot of the glue out. You want just a thin layer of glue. Now I had quite a few boards that I had to do this with and I have these bar clamps and so I can clamp all of the pieces at one time by putting wax paper in between the boards. It keeps them so they won't glue themselves together. There's the bar clamps right there. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut to the right width and length and so on. and Everything's glued together. And so now I can put this box together. And there you can see what it looks like. This is the finished box with a roof on it. And I use Galvaloom for the roof and then down this one side that's going to be in between the two boxes and I just paint the rest. So here we go, there's those nesting boxes. This galvanized aluminum is what they make metal roofing out of. And so this will last a long time on this Martin house. So here's the finished product. I've got two separate boxes and they're connected together with a 2x6 frame in the middle. And that'll ride up and down on the pole. I'll use a brake winch and a cable to raise and lower the house. I can't wait to see if I can attract these beautiful purple martins to my backyard. Thanks for watching.